Welcome to Melbourne Business School. Thank you. You ready to go? Absolutely. Okay, so in terms of your keynote presentation at the Melbourne Business School Annual Alumni Dinner, what are the key takeaways that you want people to leave with as a result of the presentation? Yeah, a few things. One is around changes happening all around us, mm -hmm. and that's not going to stop. Um, leading in times of rapid change takes a new skill set, and that can be scary, but you'll get through it, and it's okay. Terrific. The beach, the mountains, or the big city? Oh, sand between my toes every single day of the week. <laughs> what are you passionate about? Uh, netball. Um, very passionate about netball, um, but very passionate around doing the right thing for people around, whether you're a business, doing the right thing for customers, um, and always making sure you know people have the tools to enable to have transparent conversations with business. Cold chisel or in excess? Oh, cold chisel. Go River, my favourite song ever. <laughs> What is uh, the best piece of advice that's been given to you with respect to your career? Yeah, so it was a gentleman called Russell Hewitt. He was CEO of Vodafone Australia and he said to me, figure out what it is you stand for, go and stand up for it, and then make sure people know you stood up for it. Terrific. As the MD of Twitter, does that make you a cool mum at home? Oh, God, no. I wish it did. I keep trying to get mum cred all the time and it just doesn't work. It's like it's really dorky or it's embarrassing or you go, do you want me to come talk about Twitter at school? No mum. So, not yet. Have you ever sat this close to an interview before? No. No? no we're really pushing the boundaries <laughs> here, aren't we? <laughs> Outside of your Twitter account, do you yep. have any other social media accounts? Um, I do have a Facebook page um, and I have a LinkedIn profile as well. And um, in terms of the interview questions that you've been asked, what's your favourite to date? Oh, Cold Chisel or excess. I do like that one. Absolutely. Um, a, a great thing, of course, um, but women uh, seem to be heading a number of uh, tech companies here in Australia. Um, why do you think that is? You should listen to my speech tonight. I did touch on that. But primarily because there's no history. So when we look at new technology, there's no bench, there's no previous um, pipeline of candidates to come in to take CEO roles. We're starting from the beginning. And when you open up the field, look what rises to the top. So I've given you the next fortnight off from work. Great. And I've got a boarding pass in my hand. Oh. We just need to determine the destination. Where would you go? Maldives. Maldives? Yeah. Been there before? No, but would love to. Yeah. I just look at the pictures of the beaches. Actually, it could be anywhere with a beach like that, to be honest. Karen Stotts, thank you. Cool. Thank you. That was fun. Okay. Yeah, that was cool. I do like that in excess cold chisel question.